okay now today we are going to start with the clothing part okay so now we are starting with clothes so first question of mine is why we wear clothes why do we wear clothes yes krishna yes ma'am ma'am we wear clothes means our clothes protect the body from dust harmful insects from biting us harsh weather conditions like cold heat rain and etc very good yes nisha why do we wear clothes we wear clothes we wear clothes away from rain sunlight yes so we can say that we wear clothes as it protects us from heat rain cold dust clear second it makes us look beautiful yes or no smart or beautiful it also protects us from insect bites now in different seasons we wear different type of clothes everyone knows that yes now let's see in different which different seasons we are wearing which type of clothes okay coming to summers yes uh, ruhi in summers which type of clothes we are wearing cotton who is speaking like this um in summers we are who is speaking i am not speaking. ruhi wait who has spoken like that that's very bad yes ruhi Man in summer, we wear um, that uh, sleeves clothes. Beta, what are the name of the clothes? I am asking. Which type of clothes? That um, sleeves. These are the options that these type of clothes we are wearing. The name, basic name. Which type of core clothes we are wearing? Um, cotton. Cotton, exactly. So, in we have seasons like summer, we have winter, we have rainy. So, if we see in summer, so in summer we are wearing cotton clothes. We all know that in summers we are wearing cotton clothes. These cotton clothes they make us feel cool. okay they make us feel cool if we see the cotton clothes so they these cotton clothes they absorb the sweat from our body yes or no sweat from the body we feel cool in these clothes coming to winter yes vivek in winter which type of clothes we are wearing mom in winter hmm it's coat no no mom i don't know in winters you don't know which type of clothes we wear mom uh mom no, i don't know yan which type of clothes we wear in winters yeah in if there is too much winter we wear fur clothes and if there is a, a little cold so we wear um warm clothes 
woolen clothes woolen clothes yeah we wear woolen clothes in winters okay and it keeps us feel warm that is why we are wearing in the winters and in extreme winters we wear fur clothes we wear fur type clothes the examples of the winter's clothes are like your muffler cardigan cardigan means sweater like okay scarf etc rainy time which type of clothes we wear in the rainy season if rain is there yes ruhi then this one rain coats types rain coats types yes inesha gum boots gum boots yes so we we wear plastic type of clothes okay plastic type of clothes in rainy season and it protects us from being wet yes hame geele hone se bachata hai na yes vyan should i go to washroom ma'am yeah yeah sure rain coats etc okay so these are the different seasons summer winter rainy and what type of clothes we are wearing and what are the features of that understood any doubt till here ruhi you concentrate on writing okay playing can be done later on also mama i'm not playing but you are not writing also i am seeing that no i am writing i'm just seeing the words good good write it that is for yourself only beta if you don't write you can't revise also then please lower your hands krishna bhayan so always remember in summers we wear cotton clothes in winters we wear woolen clothes and in rainy time we wear plastic type of clothes see now we have studied that why should we wear clothes and the three different seasons in which we are wearing three different types of clothes according to the season yes this much understood now clothes we are wearing are we getting the same means clothes only from the plants no we are not getting clothes from the plants so what we are actually getting from the plants or animals that is the fiber so can i say that clothes are made up of fibers yes or no yes clothes are made up of fibers now what are these fibers and from where we are getting see fiber don't write anything first listen everyone vian first you understand understanding is more important than writing see clothes they are made up of fibers okay fibers are what they are like thread like things okay these fibers we get from two sources are there from where we get fibers one is plants the other one is animals plants animals from plants for example we get cotton cotton from plants we get jute jute from plants from animals for example we get silk for example we get wool agree with the statement or not please give a thumbs up plants cotton okay from cotton also from where we get cotton which part of the plant we get from seed cotton 
we get from seed around the seed the fibers are there so we take out fibers from the seed jute we get from the stem of the jute plant silk we get from silk worm which is an insect wool we get from sheep is this much clear or not again i'm telling you the clothes we are wearing we get these clothes or these clothes are actually made from the fibers okay fir usse weave kiya jata hai and all that so fibers fibers they are of two types known as oh sorry fibers are of two types natural fibers and artificial fibers okay two types artificial or man made so fibers are of two types natural and artificial or man made natural fibers are again of two types plants nature natural means nature so plant and animals is that clear the thing which i told you about plants and animals that is about natural fibers we get from plants or animals so in plants for example like cotton we get from the cotton seeds jute we get from the stem of the jute plant animals from silk the silk which you are wearing their fibers we get from silk worm which is an insect wool we get from sheep it is a fiber which get from sheep artificial or man made fibers these are the fibers which are made in the factories made by man in the factories okay they are not natural for example rayon for example nylon is that clear so fibers clothes are made up of fibers and fibers they are of two types one is known as natural fibers the other is known as artificial fibers natural fibers we obtain from two sources one is plants the other one is animals and artificial or man made fibers are obtained from the factories like rayon nylon okay polyester these are all the examples of artificial fibers yes krishna Now, what is the spelling of synthetic? Synthetic, S Y N. I can write it. Done. Okay. okay let's see from the slides now so clothes are needed vyan can you please read this yeah clothes are needed to cover and protect our body from number 1 sun heat in summers second cold in winters third rain fourth wind fifth dust when we wear cloth clothes we look smart very good nisha read this early humans humans covered their body using skin of dead animals and leaves It's clear so early humans used to cover their uh, body with the leaves also yes you might have taken or the skin of the animals next Ruhi, please read this. We make clothes using thread and weave. Threads are made of made from fibers. Fibers. There are two types of fibers: natural fibers obtained from plants and animals. Second, examples of plant fibers are cotton and jute. clear this much all i have done yes clear next cotton fibers is obtained from the seeds of the cotton plant this also i told you see these cotton balls are there yes you can see that so this is around the seed these fibers so these fibers are removed from the seed this process is known as ginning or combing 
Okay, stem and the outer skin of the jute plant. I told you jute we are obtained from the stem of the jute plant. Then these are the things. Then we obtain the silk. So from where we obtain the seed? This is the cocoon. Silkworm is there, which is forming the cocoon around it, which is a covering of smooth threads. Okay. And uh, that is known from that threads we are taken away from the cocoon. Uh, that cocoon is taken away from the silkworm and that is actually the thread, okay? So remember, silk we obtain from cocoons of the silkworm. Synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers which are made by the humans in the factories, like I told you, nylon, terracot, rayon, polyester, these are all the examples of synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers, these are again the main examples they have been showing. Now, clothes used in different climates. I told you in woolen clothes, we wear in winter. That is, it protects that as they keep us warm by not allowing the body heat to escape. Escape means does not allow the body heat to go out. We are wearing woolen clothes. They are thick type of clothes. So, it will not allow our body heat to go out. Clothes used in different climates in that there are cotton clothes or any light color clothes we wear in summer so that it keeps our body cool. Yes, this only we have done. Clothes in different climates, we wear fur clothes when we live at places which are very, very cold or having snowfall. Then we use raincoats, umbrellas, gumboots in the rainy season. They are made up of waterproof material so that water is not allowed to pass through them. These materials keep us dry. So these are the example like materials are plastic or rubber. As I told you, in rainy season, we wear plastic clothes. Yes. Then comes the care of clothes. Yes. Vivek, can you please read? Okay, ma'am. We should wa wash our clothes using a good soap or detergent. Hmm. We should re rinse the rinse. Wash we should rinse better. Rinse. We should rinse the wash clothes properly so that the soap is removed from the clothes. Hmm. We should not squeeze synthetic clothes after rinsing. Hmm. After winter is over, we should keep woolen clothes out in the sun. After drying, woolen clothes should be packed with neem leaves or tobacco leaves. Tobacco, to tobacco or tobacco leaves to preserve them. Okay. Or in our houses, we usually use naphthalene balls. Have you seen that white color balls? Your, yes, my, yes. your mothers are keeping it in the woolen clothes to protect it from the insect bites. Yes. yes so this is how we take care of the clothes. So if we want to write in the care of the clothes. Ma'am, naphthalene balls are examples of uh, your... Uh, Substitutional materials, right, ma'am? Substitutional material means? I mean the what is that uh, thing called which is which goes from solid to directly to gas state? That is sublimable. Yes, ma'am. Sub sublimation. Yes. Our clothes with good soap or detergent. We should rinse our clothes. Rinse means from water, from fresh water, you should take out three, four times properly to remove the soap from it or detergent, whatever you are using. We should. Preserve woolen clothes by putting naphthalene balls or neem leaves in it. Yes, Ruhi? 
last is importance of clean clothes okay you all tell me why should we wear clean clothes what is the need we should wear we can wear dirty clothes also we need to just protect our body why we are wearing the clean clothes yes krishna ma'am we should wear clean clothes so that our body will bacteria doesn't grow so your voice is not clear Yes. No, your voice is not clear. Yes, Ruhi. Ma'am, we have to wear clean clothes that that the germs doesn't don't germ doesn't touch our bodies, and the another one doesn't get doesn't get bad smell of that, and they can be yes. sick from there also. Yes. So first thing is, if if we are wearing clean clean clothes, we will not have any skin problems. Also, yes. If we are wearing clean clothes, isn't it? Otherwise, we will have itching or anything. Yes, because it will lead to the development of germs, isn't it? Second thing is the other person, and even we can feel the smell because we sweat a lot in summers and all that. So it gives a bad smell. Also, the person will not. the person will not stand nearby also okay and the person will not like it also importance of clean clothes yes ayansh can you please read it is protect for the for, for the infections importance of clean clothes read this please don't we should away always beta always always wear clean clothes because dirty dirty clothes wait wait we should always wear clean clothes because dirty clothes smell bad make us look okay. shabby shabby means we doesn't look good cause skin disease as i told you if there will be germs obviously if you're not changing your clothes or your clothes are not washed properly it can lead to skin diseases also also we should not wear clothes worn by others okay don't wear the clothes which are worn by others as infections are passed on from one person to another when we share clothes okay so this is also an important point first thing is that we should wear clean clothes to avoid the shabby look it skin diseases and smelling bad next point is that we should not wear the clothes which are worn by others okay why because if the others are having any skin problem or any infection that can pass on to you also clear yes ruhi And ma'am, if somebody is sick or running, if you wear another one, that the that sick person, we can also get that. Exactly, like if somebody like some diseases which can communicate from one person to another, like cold. Okay, if person is suffering from cold and you are wearing their clothes and all that, you will definitely get the cold. Understood the chapter? Please give a thumbs up. understood clearly the chapter we have done clothes why we wear clothes the two types of co uh, clothes we obtain from fibers the fibers are of two types natural and synthetic natural fibers again two types from plants and from animals we get and the man made fibers are prepared in factories by the humans then we have seen some examples then we have seen that in different seasons we wear different types of clothes summer winter rainy okay and how do we take care of our clothes all clear clear okay so please revise it so that we can i am can ask you questions in the next class okay then bye bye take care bye bye, bye, -bye.